Hi there, welcome to another painting demonstration. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can paint a dragonfly, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with a size two filbert brush, and I wanna mix up kind of a light green color, so you can take a little bit of that lemon yellow and then mix a little bit of cerulean blue into that. Just a very small amount, so you get a nice pale green. And then let's put that in kind of as an underpainting and we can put it around the eyes and the mouth and then bring it down into the body. And you can get, you can screenshot this um, sketch and then copy it. It's a fairly easy sketch to draw. Okay, and then let's let that dry. And while that's drying, let's work on the wings. And I'm gonna switch brushes. Let's switch over to a size six round brush. And it has a really small point at the end where you can get a lot of detail. And I have this really kind of a transparent gray color. And let's see if we can just put in the wings. You just want to use the tip of that brush and not too much paint and that should give you just like a nice transparent line and just kind of go over your sketch, going over the graphite of your pencil and just try to stay right on the tip of that brush and that will give you the smallest line possible. And it's okay if your brush kind of skips a little bit here. That kind of gives it the effect that it is translucent and transparent. And then what you can do is go up to the top here. And I don't know if you can see it on the video but there's kind of these little web shapes that make up the detail of those wings. It's just kind of like, it almost looks like lace and they're just these kind of connecting oval shapes and that just gives a nice detail. So you're kind of making like a semi-circle just a row of semicircles and then make another row of semicircles in between those. Also kind of like scales, like scales of a fish. And then you can kind of bring it down a little further, if you look at a reference photo of a dragonfly, those lines and details are mostly at the tops of the wings. Okay, and then if you wanted to, with like a light wash of this gray, you can kind of go underneath the wing. I have just I'm making a line with that gray paint and then taking some water and kind of blending that and it's just giving sort of like a shadow effect underneath the wings you just make sure you have enough water and blend it make sure that you are using like a watercolor paper or this one's a mixed media paper that is able to take water okay and then i just want to let that dry Let's switch brushes. I want a little bit more control, so I'm gonna to move to this spotter brush. It's like a size zero. And let's see if we can go on with a darker value. I wanna mix up kind of a teal color. So I could take a little bit of ultramarine blue with that lemon yellow and see if that gives us a teal. And then I wanna put that in around the eyes and the nose. Or the mouth of the dragonfly 
and I want to give that three-dimensional look so I'm kind of going around the edges but keeping the middle that light color and then I'll kind of do the same with the body and looking at the reference photo it has kind of these different sections of the insect so if I could use the tip of the brush I can make these kind of different sections of the body just as a detail and then I want to put maybe a lighter blue along the tail it's just some white and light blue got a little bit too much water there and then let's maybe put some of this lighter blue maybe in some random spots on the body And while that's drying, let's move to the legs. So we could do maybe a, a blue shade for the legs. And again, you just wanna use that very tip of your brush. Try to make a thin line, as thin as possible. And bring those little shapes into form. And the brush is skipping a little bit. It's giving us that dry brush effect, but that's okay because, again, we want these to kind of seem like they're kind of weak and not totally solid because the legs of an insect, they're so thin and fragile. Okay, so just try to make them sort of even on both sides. I think that looks good and if you wanted to you could go back with another color maybe mix like a purple so we could do this magenta we'll actually do magenta mixed with ultramarine and that'll give us a purple and you could use that darker color to kind of maybe add some definitions definition to the legs that are closer to the body because there's probably a little bit more of a shadow there. If you could just kind of emphasize those. And if you have any parts that you want to just define a little bit more, go ahead and do that. And we could add this purple maybe to different parts of the body or to the tail just to give a little bit of interest and a little bit of variety. Maybe I'll put a little bit of purple into certain parts of the body, being careful not to cover all of those light green spots. And maybe around the eyes, we could do a little bit of the purple. Oops, so I'm getting a little too much water on there. So I have to, I'll mix up another little pool that has less water. And then let's see if we could just put that maybe around the mouth and the eyes. All right, and then once that dries pretty good, um, take some ultramarine and then see if you could do some fine line details along that tail. Just make some kind of hash marks, even little dots. Okay, and that just gives you a little bit more detail. Okay, so I think that's looking good. Let's do our very last step here. So I have some of this glitter glue and it's just a washable glitter glue. And I wanna use this to put um, just some kind of fun glitter onto the wings. So get my brush wet. And let's see if we can just go right on top of those wings, just a light layer of the glitter glue. I don't know if you can see it on the video. That's just a final like little touch that's pretty fun. Just makes it a little more magical. You could make this and use it as a card and gift it to somebody. Let's see if you can see, you can see the shimmer and the glitter on there. 
Okay, and your dragonfly is complete, so that's a pretty easy painting that you can do. So I hope you give it a try. Like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!